100 innings. And of course, I want to bring a pennant to Arlington. Well, only the pennant is still a possibility. And a slim one at that. The lasting memory of Ryan's final season is probably going to be him giving noogies to Robin Ventura. A torn elbow ligament suffered last night ended Ryan's career two weeks early, but his accomplishments over 27 seasons will echo for eons. Only Thor has thrown more thunderbolts. Nolan Ryan threw literally blistering heat in the early days. He had to soak his tender fingers in pickle brine. Throughout his career, he shouted warnings to batters when he lost his grip on his release. Even so, he hit 158 batsmen. He walked more of them than anyone. In his wild youth, Ryan was universally feared. At the end of his 27 season run, he was feared and universally respected. One of the greatest moments for one of baseball's greatest starters came in relief. At age 22, Ryan saved game four of the Miracle Mets 1969 World Championship. Ryan would never play another World Series game. Four straight years of increasing wildness made him trade bait. The Mets sent Ryan and three others to California for Jim Fregosi before the 1972 season. The next six years, Ryan averaged 19 wins and 322 strikeouts. He whiffed an all-time record 383 in the 1973 season. And he started throwing no-hitters, two in 73. He tied Sandy Koufax's all-time record of four in a career in a span of just three years. Six years later, having gone home to Houston via free agency, Ryan hurled number five. Breaking ball, hit to third. Over the first, he's got it. He was 34 then, twilight for most pitchers, but Ryan remained both a gentleman and a giant on the mound. In nine seasons with Houston, he transformed himself into one of the game's better control pitchers. By then, he had perfected a hook to go with the heat. He led the league in strikeouts his last two years with the Astros, then moved upstate to make some history for Texas. Already the all-time strikeout leader, he became the first man to 5,000 at age 42. Ryan struck out 301 that season. In 1990, he won his 300th game and pitched his sixth no-hitter. In 91, number seven at age 44. He's got the ball swinging, and hello, no-hitter, number seven. 5,714 strikeouts, over 1,500 more than Steve Carlton. Seven no-hitters, three better than Koufax. 12 one-hitters, tied with Bob Feller. 215 games with 10 or more strikeouts. No one else has even 100. Nolan Ryan's arm finally wore out Wednesday night in Seattle. It proved that he isn't a god. But as his achievements stand up over the ages, a lot of people are going to look up at his lofty numbers and think he was pretty close.